Hi, my name is DJ Sadi. I'm the Zcat product manager, and today we're going to talk about Zcat calibration. As you can see, we calibrate our first, our world first DCC portable CMM in our Fowl Meteorology Lab. It's a controlled lab with a plus one, plus minus one degree. We use for the calibration three artifacts. The first one, we actually just uh, a granite surface plate, it's actually a triple A sur surface plate, and we just check for flatness by measuring the whole plate in two locations. The first location will be the Z-cat facing towards me, which we call it the zero degree location. We measure 360 around the Z-cat, all the, all the surface plate, and we rotate the Z-cat 180 degrees, and we start remeasuring the plate again. By doing that, we will get our plane, which is we use it for our calibration. The next artifact, which is the second artifact we use, is two setting ring gauges. One of them is set horizontally on the plate. The second one is set vertically on a, on a plate with a mag base. Basically, we're checking the ID of the ring gauges. One of them will be with a vertical probe and the other one with horizontal probe. Each set of, one, of ring has nine position. So for this one will be nine position measurement, for this one will be nine position measurement. Later we just nest this two ring around the Z-cat at different location. On the right, the left, the back, and the front. The last artifact for calibration of the Z-cat is our ball fixture. It's uh, 52 precision balls on uh, carbon fiber plates. And we use this, is our actually master, we call it the master fixture for the Z-cat. As you already know, good accuracy starts with good repeatability. And you notice that the, the fixture fill the entire volume of the Z-cat. You can see the balls are nest around the Z-cat 360 degrees. So it's a global calibration. It's not just calibrating one axis. We are actually calibrating the four axes of the Z-cat, which is X, Y, Z, and P. So we have the C rotation of the Z-cat. We have the P rotation, which is the probe axis. We have the X axis in and out. We have the Z axis up and down. And the Y axis is actually a combination of the rotation and the X and the Z. By measuring 52 balls, we obtain, we obtain 52 ball bar lengths. A diff different length, different, with different value, different orientation, and different position. Some of them, they are short, 61 millimeter length. Some of them are long, they cover side to side, six up to 655 millimeter length. When we measure the 52 balls, we will have a total combination of 1,312 ball bars for one rotation. Next, we just rotate the Z-cat 60 degree and remeasure the 52 balls. We do that six times, every time or every position. We just rotate the fixture 60 degree and remeasure the 52 balls to cover basically 360 degrees orientation of the Z-cat or the volume of the Z-cat. By the end of position six, we'll obtain a total number of 312 ball measurement with 7,956 ball bar length. By reducing the 7,956 ball bar length deviation to zero, we will have repeatability. And bingo, we have the Z-cat accuracy. Thank you.